horrible one so today i'm going to show you how i make this silky soft delicious roti paratha roti also called bus up shot due to its flaky torn look this recipe is simple with just a few ingredients absolutely delicious so first to a bowl i'm going to add four cups of all-purpose flour one teaspoon of salt three teaspoons of baking powder and three teaspoons of sugar yes and that's basically all that's needed for now going to mix all the ingredients together and i'm going to need using about two cups of warm water and the warm water makes a huge difference in the dough texture and you may not use all your water so you're just going to add a little at a time and you don't want to be kneading into a tight dough no we're not making a bread you're just going to need long enough until the dough comes together nicely and this will take about two three minutes for the most so you will be left with a nice soft sticky dough ball see this has come together nicely it's soft and sticky and you're done now in with a tad bit of cooking oil and this will help to keep it moist and soft and the texture of the roti really depends on how moist it's kept so now i'm gonna cover this with a damp cloth and i'm gonna allow this to sit and rest for about 15 to 20 minutes so after resting i'm going to separate the dough into six equal dough balls or lawyers four cups of flour will give you about six lawyers and it really depends on the size of your tower so now that we are done separating into dough balls now to a clean working surface you're going to dust some flour on and that will prevent sticking going to gentle press with your fingers into the dough to create a circle you're going to roll using your rolling pin and it doesn't have to be a perfect circle it is going to roll enough so the filling could be added So now I'm going to add the filling and if you don't trust your own hands, you could always use a brush and I'm using some margarine, but you could use butter or oil, ghee or coconut oil. That's going to distribute evenly and generously in order to acquire a beautiful silky roti texture. Now to the center of the dough, I'm just going to give that a cut all the way down. Then I'm going to roll all the way around creating a cone like shape and this technique is what gives the roti that layer of flakes gonna tuck the top in then the bottom and you're done then you're just gonna continue with the others gonna demonstrate just another so you're just gonna press your fingers in the dough to create a circle you're gonna use the rolling pin you're just gonna roll roll it out just in order to distribute the butter so now you're just going to cut the center of the dough all the way down you're just going to roll that right around right around into a cone like shape you're going to tuck the top in just like this then the bottom in and it's as simple as that then just continue with the rest so now that we are done i'm going to place them back in the pan i'm going to cover it down with the same damp cloth to keep it moist and i'm going to allow it to sit and rest for about 20 to 30 minutes right so now that the dough is done resting to my tower or your deep bottom pot your whatever you plan to use just going to brush that with vegetable oil under medium to low heat and the oil will help the roti to cook evenly and nicely so now you will need to dust your surface again because at this time the dough is soft it's moist and it's sticky you're just going to press with your fingers to create a circle you're going to roll using the rolling pin you're going to shape into the size of your tower or your pot or any wide flat heavy bottom pan that you plan to use you're going to flip rotate you're going to roll until it's thin and even and make sure the ends are not thick you could make this nice and round but it doesn't have to be perfect and when you're done you're just going to place this 
over the towel. I'm going to brush the surface with some vegetable oil and paratha roti is called oil roti in Guyana due to the amount of oil that is being used and the oil helps it to cook evenly and nicely and this will take about a minute maybe a minute and a half to cook you see those ear pockets developing yes now we're going to flip using a dabbler or a wooden spoon and you're going to brush this side as well with oil you're going to rotate making sure it's evenly cooked you're going to flip as much as you find it fit or until you see those beautiful brown spots developing this is soft it's silky it's beautiful and it's done it's ready now i'm going to use my dabbler and i'm going to pull the ends together and i'm going to beat it to acquire those layers hence the name bus up shot yes i'm going to bust it up and when you're done just going to remove it you're going to put it in a tightly container with some grease paper or into a clean kitchen towel and this will help to keep it fresh warm and soft and then just continue until you're done And there you have it, paratha roti, known as bus up shot or roti skin in Trinidad, or oil roti in Guyana. It's silky, it's soft, simple ingredients, easy recipe, absolutely delicious. And you could have this with anything of your choice, but we know roti goes great with a delicious curry. So I'm gonna have this with some delicious curry chicken a full written recipe will be listed down below in the description box i just want to thank you so very much for watching